Mechanical keyboards are becoming all the rage. They differ from the keyboards you could find in the laptops or at department store checkouts as they use aptly named mechanical switches to register key presses. In today's video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Royal Clutch RK84, a premium mechanical keyboard. Many of you certainly heard of the Royal Clutch brand as it became the go-to brand for many gamers and budget conscious enthusiasts. The RK84 seems to have a lot going for it, an almost entry level price at under $70, mechanical switches, backlighting and Bluetooth. Let's see how it holds up in the real world. Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. First, let's unbox it and see what's inside the box. Here we got the keyboard itself. It's much heavier than I thought it would be, thanks to its big 3750mAh battery. In the top compartment of the box, we got here a pair of magnet stands, a switch puller two, four replacement blue switches, and USB-C cable and instruction manuals. The entire keyboard is cast in white plastic, with the only breaks being the transparent characters on the keycaps and the black Royal Clutch logo. And it's pretty heavy, it's actually way heavier than I expected. Because this is a thin keyless model, the numeric keypad is gone, leaving us with a total of 84 keys. Many people, including myself, actually would prefer that TKL keyboard for the shorter distance to the mouse, and Royal Clutch calls this a 75% keyboard. On the underside of the RK84 we got 4 rubber feet, an on-off switch, the Bluetooth switch and 2.4GHz wireless dongle in a dedicated slot. The rear feet don't pop out to change the height of the keyboard, instead it comes with two magnetic feet that just snapped over the existing feet and adds 0.4 inch of the height. At the rear there is a single USB-C port for wired connection and for charging the internal battery and two USB-A 2.0 pass-through ports which can be used for wired connections, for example the wired mouse, USB sticks etc etc. Ok, let's turn it on. This is the version with blue LEDs, the RK84 is also available with RGB lights. The LEDs are brighter than I expected. That blinking P means the keyboard isn't plugged to any device at the moment, but don't worry, I'll test the connectivity of the keyboard in a minute. There's no space between any of the keys and the right control key has been cut in half to make a space for the function key. At 12.5 inches across and 5 inches wide, the RK84 is pretty small, but it's 1.75 inch thick and weighs around 1.77 pounds. That makes the overall construction feel solid. This particular model has RK branded blue switches, but Royal Clutch also offers red and brown switches as an option. RK84 is built for customization. With the included keycap puller tool, you might swap the switches to a different type. If you're unfamiliar with the switch types, the blue, red or brown coming down to personal preference, so if you like the classic clicky sound and feel, you'll love the blue mechanical switches. If the speed is your consideration, you should stick to linear red switches. And for a mix of both, go with brown, simple. All the switches are plate mounted 3 pin models. You can easily order new keycaps and switches and drop them right into keyboards, mix and match switch types and keycaps, it's all up to your personal preference. You can also remove the plastic plate surrounding the keys to change the RK84 from embedded key model to floating key model, depending on your visual preference. I like the aesthetics of the floating keys, so I'll take it off. The function key giving you access to the additional features of the keyboard. The backlight configuration can be changed using the function key combined with home button. It basically cycles through the 19 different backlighting modes. Some of these are just spectacular, I love it. Pressing the function key and the up down arrow raises and lowers the brightness. Function key with left and right changes backlight animation speed. With the function key, the F keys double as shortcuts for mail and calculator or built-in MIDI keys. 
first, I was testing the keyboard in a wired mode. This requires hooking the keyboard up with the included 5.6 inch USB-C to USB-A cable. There's no software needed as Windows detects the keyboard automatically. The first wireless mode with the 2.4 GHz dongle is ok. Initial testing was done on my desktop PC. I found the keyboard worked fine within the range of uh, 4 to 5 feet from the dongle. No missing keystrokes and the connection was pretty stable. For the Bluetooth connection, you'll have to switch it at the underside. You can pair the keyboard with up to three devices, each accessed via function key in the combination with Q, W and E. Long pressing this combination puts the keyboard into pairing mode. I tried the keyboard with the iPad Air. All works smooth, no missing keystrokes, no signs of latency. Let's try it with my old iPhone 8. The pairing is a dream. The keyboard has been recognized by the iPhone almost immediately. Right, now let's plug an iMac via Bluetooth. Again, the Bluetooth connection is being picked almost immediately and is very stable. The PC window key serves as an Apple command key. Other than that, no issues, no missing keystrokes, all works like a charm with the iMac. And now let's plug the Android phone. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. I had to put the keyboard into pairing mode and again, the RK84 has been recognized by the Android phone straight away. I even tried some racing game, here's the Asphalt 9 Legends. And as you can see, the game automatically detects that the keyboard is being connected with the phone and even shows the keys combinations required to access the full control within the game. I found that the keyboard was accurate even a good 14 to 16 feet away from my testing devices. I would certainly prefer the Bluetooth connection over the wired or 2.4 GHz dongle. With the keyboard working like a charm via Bluetooth, I wonder why Royal Clutch throws the dongle option here. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the RK84 has a big 3750mAh battery. Royal Clutch rates the battery life at 200 hours in 2.4GHz mode with the backlights off, and full charge take around 5 hours. I run the RK84 in Bluetooth mode only, with low brightness backlighting for over a week without the battery dropping to zero. This workhorse will survive a long time. However, I would like to see some battery indication here because technically I can't really say if my keyboard has any juice left or when it will be required to recharge. By the way, keep in mind the charging of the battery in the keyboard can be done only in a wired mode. This keyboard works entirely without software, but Royal Clutch does have a software configuration suite. Once you're in software itself, there are a good number of configuration options. You can change the key assignments per key, create macros and change the backlighting, and even make some custom lightning modes. However, in my opinion, there is no need to use the software unless you're planning any deep customization, and this is up to your personal preference. Overall, the Royal Clutch RK84 is a winner. For less than $70, I think this keyboard makes an interesting option. The case feels solid, the switches sound and feel nice, and the Bluetooth is a huge plus. A simple design can be paired with three connection choices, a large battery, USB pass-through and a software that allows for further configuration. The keyboard is available in two colors, black and white, and has three various hot switch configurations, blue, red and brown, as we discussed earlier. There's also a pro version of the RK84 with an aluminium frame. For customizers, it's a win with hot swappable switches and standard keycaps, with a price tag that's lower than the most of the competition. So if you want a wire or wireless Bluetooth 75% keyboard with software-less blue or RGB lighting configuration and a ridiculously long battery life, this might be the right keyboard for you. If you would ask me for my personal opinion, I would say the Royal Clutch is my favorite brand right now. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed so you won't miss when the next video comes out. Thanks everyone, that was Adam and you watched 